That's a direct order. Do it now. Greetings, my name is CJ and I shall be leading you through a small tutorial on dedicated servers at Art of War Central. We shall be covering things like remote desktop and FTPing right the way through to TC Admin. Let's get started on what a dedicated server is. A dedicated server is one computer linked to Art of War Central's network for your own use. In this case a dedicated server can be used to run multiple game servers, websites or incoming FTP. So what's the difference between a dedicated server and a normal game server like a BF2 server which you might already own? In the simplest terms a normal game server might be shared between you and 10 other people, each running a server in an isolated space but physically on the same computer. A dedicated server means just that, it is dedicated to just you and runs whatever you decide to put on it. This means more disk space, more memory, more processing power for whatever software server you decide to put on your dedicated server. Ordering a dedicated server from Art of War is very simple. Visit the Art of War website by typing www.artofwarcentral.com into your browser and then click on Dead Servers, DD Servers from the left hand menu under Services. Once the page has loaded, you'll be presented with a list of servers. As a general rule, the higher the cost of the server, the more processing power, disk space, and memory a system has meaning you can run more software servers and services. Once you have found a server you like, click on the Order Now link to the right of the server description. Another page will load and you will be asked where you want the server situated, when you want to be built, if you want a Ventrilo server, whether you want the control panel to be upgraded and how many IP addresses you require. Once all the details have been filled in it will display a breakdown of costs involved. All that's left to do is to click on the accept the terms and conditions checkbox and then click on the order now button. You will then be prompted to create a new user or if you're already a customer just enter your username and password. Once you've completed the process and entered your magic numbers then your server will be set up and ready to go in five to seven working days. Remote Desktop is a multi-channel protocol that allows users to connect to a computer running Microsoft Terminal Services. In this case, we use Microsoft Desktop to log into our dedicated server. Once you have connected, you can use the Remote Desktop client just like your own computer at home. Once you have ordered a server from Art of War Central, then your main method of controlling your dedicated server is to use Remote Desktop. Let's take a look at how to set up Remote Desktop. The process is fairly simple. Right click on the desktop and hover your mouse on New. From the menu that flies out, select Shortcut at the top. In the box that pops up, enter percent system root percent forward slash system32 forward slash mstsc.exe backslash admin. Now click on the next button and enter your server name and then click on Finish. Once you click on finish you should be presented with an icon on the desktop which looks like this. Double click on this icon launches the remote desktop client. Now it's time to connect for the first time. Double click on the icon you've just made and a box will pop up like this one. Once your server has been set up you will need the IP address from either the email you received or from Art of War Central's control panel. Put the IP address into the box at the top marked computer. There are a 
lot of options associated with the remote desktop, but most of them are set up for you. And all you really need to do is hit the connect button. Remember, if you need specific help with remote desktop, then Art of War Central has a live help system and 24 hour technical support via ticket and phone. Here you can see I've entered the IP address of the server and hit the connect button. After a short pause, another screen asking for the login details will appear. Again, refer to your email and find the username and password for remote desktop sent to you by Art of War. Enter this information into the box and click on OK. You will now be logged into the system. Notice when you log into the system it looks similar to your own computer with a start button. To log out a remote desktop, either click on start and then log off, or use the bar at the top with your server IP address and click on the X button on the far right. A small box will appear stating that you're logging off and that your programs will continue to run. The task manager is one of the most powerful tools on your server. It allows you to troubleshoot and fix problems by analysing the processes and resources running on your server. There are quite a few ways to access the task manager. I'll let you in on two methods I use. Press Ctrl, Alt and End to bring up a menu that allows you to access the task manager. Or right click on the bar at the bottom of the screen and select task manager. One service you may want to enable is the FTP so that you can upload maps, mods and files to your server. You do this via a tool inbuilt into the operating system called IIS or Internet Information Service. So let's set up an FTP server. First click on start and then look for administrative tools on the right hand side of the menu. Click on this to access a flyout menu and look for Internet Information Service IIS, in the list. Click on this and a new window will open up. This is the IIS manager, it controls your websites and FTP systems on the server. Look for the FTP sites line in the window and then right click on that line and select new and then FTP site. The FTP site creation wizard window will open. Click on the next button. Give the FTP site a name, here I've called it my FTP and click on the next button. Next select the IP address that you want the FTP to use. All IP addresses that you have are available. Next type in the port that you want the FTP to run on. The next screen is about security. Choose the middle option which isolates users to their directory. This next screen allows you to choose a directory to store files to via FTP. Click on the browse button and choose the directory and then click on the next button. The final screen asks whether you want to read and write files to the server. Put a tick in both boxes and click next. In the following windows you will see that the FTP server is now there and is running. This is a very simple demonstration of the FTP facility. You should spend extra time securing the server. To start a software server with remote desktop relies on the right configuration. The benefits are that you're in total control of it if the server crashes or does something weird. Most software servers have their own dedicated server executable. In Battlefield 2 it's called bf 2 underscore w 32 ddexe To run the server all you have to do is double click on the server just like you would do at home. Here you can see I've begun the server and it's loading. After a short while people will be able to play on it. When most software servers crash they usually don't spring back to life automatically. A useful tool is FireDaemon which will automatically restart a server when it crashes. Instead of fiddling around with FTP to upload your favourite maps and mods, why not surf to your favourite mod site with remote desktop and download it straight to the server? It's definitely a top labour and time saving tip. However, if you plan to use Internet Explorer then get ready for some harsh security. Instead, I recommend Firefox, but watch what you download. That's all we have time for in this video. Hopefully you'll watch the second part of this video called TC Admin, which explains what it is and how to use it.